you probably want to know how I make my burnt animals look this good. So you burnt a thing. Now here's what you're going to need. Reactivated watercolour paints. This is the other palette that I use. I use this wood stain to be able to do my backgrounds and my contrasts. It also comes in several other colours. You'll also need brushes, you don't mind ruining. And this is the water-based sealant I use. It is a varnish and it is the gooby gooby wonderfulness that I need in my life. I use a watercolour to sketch on my artwork and then I burn it with my razor tip and then my pyrography pen from Bunnings. You can find all of those in the links below. Once you have burnt your masterpiece, that is where this tutorial comes in handy. We prep our wood with a light bit of water. Little bit, you don't want it to soak in too far. With your wood prepped and ready, we are going to use the reactivated watercolour paints. You're going to water them down and slowly build up the layers. Only wet the surfaces that you want to put the colour into, because if we control the water, we control the colour. Here is a good example, it is the eyeballs. Only put the water where you want the colour. I am prepping the wood with the water here and I am going to show you how you can build up different tones with the same colour. Just adding in different textures and look at that mushroom, looks 3D. Then I'm going to add the water only to the background, making sure that I had let the layers dry in between so the water doesn't seep into where I've already put my beautiful art. Now we will use the oak wood stain, not the elm that I showed you, and fill in the background. Always go lighter than you think you need. You can always make it darker, but you can't make it lighter. Then I drip and slap on some of that goopy goopy wonderfulness. And this beautiful, beautiful baby is done. And this is the end result. So, yeah. <laughs> this is my frog on a mushroom. Boom, 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 boom. Welcome to my room. You can learn how to make art like this and subscribe to my YouTube channel.